What is up, fam? It is now technically the first day of my peak week. It is Saturday. We are exactly one week away from show day. Obviously a little bit higher spirits than I was the last time we talked. I have been increasing food slowly. I get 60 grams of fat today, 120 carb and 150 protein. So right now I am heading to the gym to do an upper body day on a Saturday in the afternoon. It's amazing. I have a Rice Krispie Treat and some bananas in here. I'm so freaking excited. Uh, so I'm gonna hit my lift, do some posing. Also, I woke up to a brand new low today. I am 114 this morning, which is the lowest that I've ever been. That's a new all-time low. We keep increasing food and my weight keeps dropping. I'm just leaning out. It's crazy, it's crazy. So I'm just super, super excited and I'm just starting to soak it all in because it's coming to an end, thank God. Literally, thank God. I am so excited for like everything to come to an end, but also I'm trying to make the most of it, you know? So that's where I'm at mentally. just crushed the upper body day and I'm going to pose, but I'm so hungry. So I had to, to make a pit stop at my car. Good thing. I always come prepared. You know, you fail to prepare, you're preparing to fail. So I have my lunch in the car. I'm going to eat that and I'm going to hit a few poses and then we're going to go grocery shopping. Disrespectfully, they left the, the pad for the jiu-jitsu or whatever up so I can't really pose that much but this is our current physique pretty proud of pretty proud of this look we got the uh, the legs the legs are are doing their thing so that's cool Everybody. So I have been doing a terrible job of updating you during this peak week. It, I am currently three days out. It is Wednesday. It is Wednesday, October 25th, I think. October 25th. And it is 3.45 p.m. I am about to go train. So this week, peak week training has just been like six to eight exercises at like 70% effort. So like, I'm not trying to be sore at all. I'm really just going in there, getting a pump, getting, a, you know, feeling that mind muscle connection, slowing everything down, feeling the movements, feeling the muscles work. I'm gonna do a push pull leg day today, just like two exercises of each. Um, I'm about to eat my pre-workout and I've been eating I, my food, my food has been increased. So today I get 220 carbs. What a day, what a day. We've been slowly increasing food every day this week. Started at like 120 carb, then went 140, 160, 200, now we're at 220. And I'm starting to fill out a little bit. I will post my progression of my check-in photos. I've been checking in with my coach every single morning. Um, I still feel like a little bean. I am currently 113 pounds, which is just like so wild. As we've been increasing food, it's funny. I lost five pounds in one week because intensity, my body was just so inflamed being at such a low intake of food and training so hard. Once we pulled back on intensity of training and cardio and started increasing food, I started 
to my body was just like in a state of relief and I just lost so much inflammation. So like literally I'll show you a one week difference in my back shot. It's nuts. So far, I this week has been very good. My energy has been so much better. I feel like a different human. Like I actually feel like a human now which is great. Peak week has been treating me well. Cardio has been low. I had started with 45 minutes, just one session of 45 minutes on the treadmill, slowly bumping it down. Now we're at 30 tomorrow. I'm only doing 20 minutes of cardio in the morning. It's an active rest day. I am traveling to Orlando tomorrow. So I'm flying out at 4:45. I've been slack a lacking on my peak week vlogging but I wanted to record some parts of it so like so I remember exactly how I'm feeling and everything I feel good I'm excited I'm nervous I the thing I'm not nervous about my physique I think that my physique is in a really good spot and physically I think I'm like I'm so proud I'm so freaking proud of the package that I've that I've built like I'm proud of this I'm really nervous about the posing and just like the comparisons and all of that but it's gonna be fine once I get on stage, I'm just gonna zone in and I'm just gonna keep practicing posing now. Um, and yeah, so I got my nails done today. I, I've i been doing like all like the, the beauty stuff. Um, I paid $136 to get a Brazilian wax and a, like a, a treatment to like help with ingrown hairs. But like the fact that women have to pay money to get that hair removed that much money it's just nuts to me i hate doing this stuff and then i you know the nails and the pedicure and manicure that was like expensive it all adds up you know but it's all part of you know it's all for the day i have no expectations going into this show besides the fact i'm gonna fucking win the entire thing i'm just kidding um besides the fact that i have reached this level of leanness and i have put myself through hell to reach this goal, I wanted to see how far I could push myself. I pushed myself pretty freaking far. And this has proved that if you put your mind to something, anything you put your mind to, you can achieve. And looking back, I'm like, dang, I never thought you would, you don't know what you're capable of until you freaking push yourself to the limit. So, and this isn't even, th this is just scratching the surface. We're just getting started. This is week two of being a full-time entrepreneur. And while I've been, you know, deep in the trenches of prep, my brain isn't really working to its fullest capacity, but I'm still showing up for my clients. I'm still showing up for my business. And once I'm fully thinking, like once my brain is like actually being fed nutrients consistently, and I'm not like going balls to the wall with training, it's, life is going to be different dude i am so excited to show this world what i'm made of because there's a lot more than nicole dewis is bringing to the table and you haven't seen it yet but you will see it and i'm freaking excited so thanks for tuning in i'll see you soon <laughs>
And then I also have a this ginormous bag of food. I'll just show you what I brought. So I didn't know how to pack food for this. I was super stressed with the whole food thing. So I have 500 grams of cooked egg whites, already cooked. I have like an egg scramble that I like will be eating for breakfast tomorrow. I have like two pounds of ground beef, smashed avocado, rice, bricks of chicken. I'm literally traveling with bricks. I'm moving weight, baby. I'm moving weight across. <laughs> it's chicken. And I have my dinner for this evening. If you want to see, oh no. It's gonna be a like a mess on the plane. <laughs> and there's, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be that person on the plane. Sorry, it is what it is. Listen, listen. When you've been dieting for this long, <laughs> if these people knew what I was going, <laughs> what I have gone through, <laughs> Just let me eat my damn meal on the plane. Okay. okay. I think it's so funny. People would get like dressed up for the airport and I'm out here in my gold gym hoodie. Got all the all black fit on, no makeup. So update, how am I feeling? I'm feeling freaking great. I'm feeling excited. I'm feeling nervous. I have everything that I need, I think. Um, I was all, I had my panties all in a wad about getting the peanut butter, getting my rice cakes, getting the pop tart that I need before I go on stage, all these things. And you know what? <laughs> I didn't bring any of it. I made sure to make special trips to the airport. The prep brain, the prep brain is still here. I made special trips to the grocery store to get those things specifically. And it turns out I didn't even bring them. You wanna know why? Because I could hardly fit anything in my suitcase. I literally, you should have seen me trying to smash this thing closed. How do I feel? I feel good. My body, the body is body. The body is do, I also feel so much more um, dramatic with the nails. The body is bodying. Okay, um, it's I'm filling out. I from what Nick sees, he thinks that I'm filling out. I feel like I still like, like every time he asks. Every time he asks me like, "How are you feeling?" I'm like, "Like, or do you feel like you're filling out?" And I'm like, "I feel like an anorexic shrimp. Like, I don't know. I feel, I'm literally 113.6 pounds. I have woken up the same weight every three days in a row. So that's pretty crazy." Um, I never thought that I would see that number on the scale like literally ever in my life. But yeah, feeling good, energy is high, morale is high. I'm flying in tonight. My mom and brother are gonna be at the hotel waiting for me. I'm staying at the hotel that the show is at. So that like is gonna relieve a lot of stress too, not having to worry about the logistics. Let me make sure I'm not going to miss my flight. No, okay. So post show, what are the plans? What's the plans? Well. First order of business, crumble cookies. They have a pumpkin brownie cookie. Yes, so I'm getting that, chocolate chip, carrot cake, and strawberry cheesecake. Then I'm going to get a bacon cheeseburger with a fried egg on it. I already found the place. It's nothing like crazy. I just wanted like a good quality burger. And this place is like an American, you know, like it's like a brewery, I think. I might get a uh, hazy IPA. I love, I love hazy IPAs. So I might treat myself to that. And some sweet potato waffle fries. I cannot wait. And then I have my brunch place picked out for the next day. So nothing crazy. Like I don't want to be like super food focused. Obviously I'm excited to eat, but I'm not going to, I'm going to do my best to not like engorge myself. I'm going to cut my burger in half and I'm just going to try and stop when I'm full um, and then do a lot of digestion walks. A lot of, that's the plan. And then the next day I want to wake up. I want to go outside in the sun and maybe journal, do breathe, breath. <laughs> I just want to breathe. I just want to go on a walk in the sun, soak it all up, just like be present um, with my mom and brother. I am super excited. I I can't believe it's finally here. I feel like I was. I've been. I've been waiting for this for so long. And it's finally. It's finally happening. So, uh, and it's crazy when I come home. I'm like, wow. When I get back to this kitchen, 
I'm not gonna be prepping for a show. Like it's crazy, it's so weird to think about, but yeah. So I will keep you guys posted. I'll be taking you along. I'm gonna do my best to record this weekend because I get so focused and I forget. So I'm gonna do my best to record. And that's about it. So I will see you guys shortly. What's up guys, we are one day out. Just took my check-in photos. Had a new weigh-in this morning of 113 on the dot. That is a all-time low. Um, body fat is pretty, pretty low right now, but I'm feeling good. Waiting to see what coach says. I just have a, just 20 minutes on the incline treadmill today, and then a quick 30 minute circuit just to get the blood pumping and then just going to do all the pre-show day things and then the craziness starts tomorrow.